Ah! Stop, damn it! Where is he? Where's Pronto? Oh, there you are. I'm worried about your friends. They've fallen and they can't get up. Why not lend them a hand? that can only be hers. to the Oracle. Tiana, it's you. You're the Glacian. Tales of the past and hopes for the future are manifest in the King of Kings. The Frostbearer's blessing shall be his. The Six have safeguarded this star since time immemorial, each of a different mind, but united by this common purpose. The God's protection extends to all creatures here below, even to the mortals created in their image. They are feeble creatures leading fragile lives and clinging to foolish fancies. The Frostbearer scorns these visions of hope, which melt like snow in the sun's light. Yet the Pyre Burner admires their strength of will. For their reverence, he grants unto them his flame, and the world of man flourishes. His benevolence warms the frozen heart of the Frostbearer. The mortals have earned her respect, he, her love and admiration. It is not long, however, before some among those men ascend to new heights of hubris. The people of Solheim spurn the gods who bless them, the gods they once worshipped. The ungrateful mortals incur the wrath of the pyre burner. He seeks to raise the very civilization his flames once helped build. But the six are sworn to defend this star and all her inhabitants from harm, and, at times, from one another. The flames of war surge as Solheim fends off the pyre burner's fire. The gods' pleas for peace fall on deaf ears, and the battle rages on. When the smoke clears, the world of man is in ruins, their star left scarred for time eternal. Wearied from war, the six seek solace in slumber. This tale of our shared past is entrusted to the King of Kings. That he may see it to its conclusion. In the days that follow the war, while the six are still asleep, the pyre burner is sought by a man who draws him away from the light. His peril is sensed by the frost bearer. She rushes to his aid, only to be felled by the foreign hordes. Those masses are now one with the darkness, darkness that before long will swallow the six and the star they protect. This star's fate no longer rests in the hands of the gods. It sits on the shoulders of the Chosen. Deliver this world from darkness and grant my love release. <sighs> I promise I will. The Oracle is no longer of this world, but her thoughts remain, and they must be known.
and so the promise is fulfilled. As her words go with him, so shall my blessing. Yeah. Thanks. O King of Kings, restore the light unto this world. Farewell, dear Noctis. Luna, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I couldn't be there for you. Not even when you needed me most. There was so much you wanted to say. So much I wanted to say. And now... I'll never have the chance. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I won't let you down. I know you won't. Luna. You and I will be together again someday. I promise. What are you looking at? Hey, wake up. What happened? No. Are you all right? Yeah. I saw the glacier. It's okay. She's gone now. You guys check out our drivers. Got it. You good? Yes, I'm fine. Let's go. I feel I've earned the right to call you Noct. For a moment I felt death's chill wind. Such is the might of the gods. But then I remembered I'm immortal. Such is my blessing and curse. Your attack hurt me nevertheless. My feelings at least. And after all the memories we've shared, Remember this. Ah, I should have asked if you remember him. Truly a blast from the past. Nay. Ah, ah, ah. You mustn't take what's not yours. Where is he? He? <laughs> the little gunman's a short shot away. Where? Where else but Gralia, the seat of the Empire? I'm sure he'll be delighted to see you. And you might even find your crystal. With all these demons about, you could certainly use it. Yeah. Off you go, then. I wouldn't want to keep you from your friend. <laughs> Thank you.